The Slate Material Editor provides a schematic view of your materials while you're creating them. It shows your materials in a graphic way that displays both the structure of your material and allows you to edit any level of your material at any time. This can be helpful in creating both simple materials as well as highly complex material networks. Materials in the Slate Material Editor are created using visual connections. For example, if you added a brick map to an Arch and Design material, you would see a line visually connecting the output of the map node to the input of the material node. You will learn more about nodes as the lesson progresses. The biggest difference between the Slate Material Editor and the Compact Material Editor is that the materials can be built using a simple drag and drop technique, where you can quickly drag from the output of a map to the input of a material, and you'll see the result as a line connecting the two. Another concept new to the Slate Material Editor is the idea of nodes. A node is an element that you drag out into the Schematic View workspace and is used to build a material. There are many types of nodes available for use in the Slate Material Editor. The material nodes provide access to all the standard and mental ray materials that are available for use in 3ds Max. Those include the Arch and Design material, the Multi Subobject material, and the Blend material, as well as many others that are included with 3ds Max. Map nodes provide a way of applying patterns to the surface of objects. They can be bitmaps. For instance, if you have a photograph of a brick pattern, you can use the bitmap node to assign that image to a material. The Meta SL node is primarily designed as a way to integrate real-time, high-quality textures that are created with tools like Mental Mill into 3ds Max for use on objects in your scene. While there are many other types of nodes available, the Autodesk Material node can be extremely useful. 3ds Max now comes with a library of Autodesk materials that makes applying high-quality materials within your scene both simple and highly flexible. This extensive library allows you to create high-quality renderings of complex scenes without having to develop complex materials from scratch.